All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland. Introducing the challenger, Big. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. All right, this is for the UFC championship. You know, if you don't make your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out Underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high level striker is, and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. What is fantastic! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Oh, lazy. He's got this beautiful strike there. I mean, that's his game, though. When you think the punches are coming, he throws kicks, and then he lands his beautiful flying knee right up the middle. 
and you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Side leg kick. Beautiful strike. Under two minutes to go. Oh, he's right up the gut. They say he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first and they stop right to the target. Oh, big head kick there. And they separate. tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so a big big win for him here tonight. All right we'll take a look back at the highlights you know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds in the very first round. We're playing the winner by...